Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Visual Studio 2013 Professional. I do have uh, the installation media, and this is the server uh, Tech Brothers client that I'm going to install Visual Studio 2013. So here is my uh, ISO file. Uh, I have mounted that already. So we're going to go ahead and right click on Visual Studio Professional and run as administrator. Click yes. accept the license I'm not gonna join Visual Studio Experience Improvement Program so I'm gonna go ahead and click next if you would like to change the if you have wanted to install Visual Studio in a separate um, drive you can change it right here but I'm gonna keep it the same because I don't have any other drive but C so go ahead and click next and these are the uh, optional feature to install when you're installing professional 2013 with update 4 so um, you can pick and choose all the features or you can just click uh, select all and it'll go ahead and install everything so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it the way it is for now uh, but uh, you have an option I'm gonna go ahead and click install this is going to take some time uh, it takes about uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes on my machine to install Visual Studio so um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once the installation is completed I'll be back if I run into any issue um, I'll share with you and the resolution All right, as you can see that uh, Professional 2013 Visual Studio with Update 4 is completed successfully. This uh, setup is completed successfully. We're gonna go ahead and launch and see that if everything is working. Just keep in mind that when you launch Visual Studio for the first time, it asks you some of the settings, uh, whether you wanted to do the business intelligence, general setting, and all that. That doesn't mean that you can't access the other settings in Visual Studio, but it will just uh, give you the first view of those tools uh, depending on what setting you select and it takes a little bit of time because it loads up uh, your profile setting uh, in, in on on the computer uh, or client wherever you installed Visual Studio and you're trying to uh, launch the Visual Studio so it's completed now so we're gonna go ahead and click on launch right now it says that um, if I wanted to sign in or not now maybe later if you have a Visual Studio online account then you can sign in or if you have MSDN subscription and all that you could do that but I'm gonna go ahead and click not now maybe later here are the setting I was talking about if you drop down right here it's general setting JavaScript setting web development um, and uh, depending on your um, you know whatever you are working where you need to use Visual Studio you can uh, go ahead and launch those settings and it will bring up the tools um, according to that and here are some uh, color shades that uh, whatever the color shade if you are into art you might like blue dark or light um, I don't care eh, I'll, I'll go ahead with blue so I'm gonna go ahead and click on start Visual Studio right now it's uh, loading up uh, based on your uh, system profile so this is what I was talking about that is gonna take a little bit time for the first when, when you fire up Visual Studio for the first time All right, excellent. We have Visual Studio successfully installed, and right here is the Visual Studio uh, first general setting page. You can start using Visual Studio. And uh, that's it for installation of Visual Studio 2013 Professional with Update 4. I hope this video helps.